guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a get ready with me type of video while I tell you guys how United Airlines broke my newness stroller. Yes, I know it did happen when I went to Casper, Wyoming and I was so heartbroken. I had a huge meltdown. I had almost a panic attack, an anxiety attack. You name it, I had it. I cried. I mean, I had a meltdown, you guys. It was really 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 frustrating sad and i was just upset so as you guys can see i don't have anything on my face other than my hair is being done so i am going to moisturize my face and i'm going as always with my pharmacy honey halo moisturizer i am super super obsessed with this moisturizer because it's just so creamy and yeah it does a job and it smells like honey so if you guys are not into the smell of honey don't even try or you guys don't like scented moisturizers don't even get this because it does have a scent it's very mild but you can definitely definitely tell it's honey or it smells like honey so i currently still have that rash going on right here on my cheekbones and I did a doctor's appointment, but I didn't go in office, you guys. I actually had the appointment done through FaceTime. And I'm just still wondering and processing how can a doctor, like, tell me what's wrong with my skin if it's, like, through a FaceTime call. But it is what it is. I didn't have time to go in. It was, like, convenient to me to do that. But at the same time, at the back of my head, I'm like, girl, like, you're out of your mind. You should have just gone. And, yeah, I did it. <laughs> But it, it put my mind on ease. So if you haven't watched my vlogs, my latest vlogs, I will link them down below so you guys can like watch them. And it's just pretty much how I pack and then what I'm taking and obviously going to Casper, like what I vlogged out there. And if you did watch them, thank you so much. I appreciate the support. So after I'm done with my moisturizer, I'm going to start doing one thing that I haven't done in a, quite some time. I am going to be doing my brows prior to doing my face because I feel like it's easier. My eyebrows look better. They look good. Let me just give you guys a little back story about my Nuna stroller. Okay. The Nuna stroller is super, super convenient. It's super lightweight. It's foldable. It's just perfect in my eyes, in my own opinion. I just love that stroller. Okay. In my head, I never thought that they were going to do something like that or something like that can happen to my stroller but apparently it's very common because as soon as i call them they're all like oh this happens all the time and i'm like yeah but it wasn't supposed to happen to me you know but it did so on our way to our airport we got there and uh, i took the car seat the stroller and obviously my luggage right so i went to the airlines and i just checked in my luggage with them and i also checked in my car seat either you can check in your stroller or your car seat you can take both of the things and like it's free of charge however you can only take one item inside this uh airport with you either you have to check in the stroller or you have to check in the car seat so i obviously chose to check in the car seat with my luggage at the time that i was there because it was just going to be easier you know and i wasn't going to be carrying a lot of things just to have my hand free so i basically checked in my car seat and put it in in a plastic bag that the airport provided because i didn't buy one and i never knew those existed honestly so yeah that was my mistake but it is what it is but that didn't mean that they had to break my stroller but anyways um i checked it in with them we went through tsa the whole process was just super smooth i did not know this you are priority boarding if you have an infant less than two years old we were priority boarding so that was super super cool but before that i do remember going in into the lady and i was like hey i have a stroller i don't know what to do like orientate me you know like on what to do she did tell me that 15 minutes before uh boarding to check in my stroller since we were priority boarding we were the first one to board and then did tell us that i had to leave the stroller before entering our, our plane so we got to denver they gave us our stroller everything was smooth nothing happened to my stroller other than some minor scratches because i never i never got that plastic bag for my stroller because i did not know you can do that we had to go through the same process of like get going to the airline and then boarding um the plane again because we had a layaway 
at Denver for three hours. I pretty much did the same thing other than I actually asked for a plastic bag before handing it over to the airlines. We got to Casper, Wyoming and my stroller was just a-okay. Like nothing had happened, just a minor scratch. That was about it. And I was like, wow, you know, like I'm so proud because we made it to Casper. My stroller's not broken. I have everything. The flight was amazing. God was good, so good because like we made it alive because there was a lot of turbulence, you guys. And I was super, super scared and I was praying the whole time. I like prayed before I got into the plane, as soon as I sat on the plane, as soon as we took off and I was like, Jesus Christ, you are the one in controlling this airplane. Please calm the airs. Please let us get there safe. And he definitely delivered so thank you christ thank you thank you thank you thank you and we made it but here let me start doing my brows because i feel like i just got lost in the whole storytelling of how that happened because i'm still livid of, of that whole incident because i legit cried when it happened but let me just do my brows okay because so my camera died and in the process of me charging my camera i decided to do my brows off camera just for the sake of this video so it could like be a bit shorter. I feel like I'm speaking a lot and I'm like going off track on some things. So for foundation, I'm using this Hourglass Ambient Foundation, which literally I have been super, super obsessed with it because it's legit my perfect match. And I am using the number six, if you guys are curious. I think I added a bit too much. But yeah, we got to Casper and we basically had a blast. I mean, we literally had the time of our lives there because I have never ever been out of California. No, I've been to Nevada, but that's the only state that I've been out to. So so this is actually the third state that I actually kind of sort of know. Um, but yeah, we had a blast. My daughter loved it out there. She loved it with all of her cousins. Everything was going perfect until the last day of our trip, until the day of, of our flight, because I started to get nervous. I mean, who doesn't get nervous the day of like their flight, right? Like you just want everything to be perfect. You don't want to forget anything. You want to be a-okay and then you want your daughter not to have like a meltdown and all that stuff. So last day in Casper we went out to breakfast with our family. And then after breakfast we went to Target because we needed some coffee, you know. I needed to be like wide awake. We all needed to be wide awake because honestly it was just going to be such a long day. Because I think the whole trip was like 9 hours. We had another layaway in Denver for 3 hours and 30 minutes. And that's why I got so pissed off. So my sister-in-law dropped us off at the airport with her husband and the kids. You know, we said goodbye. Everything was cool. We went to the airlines. I pretty much did the same thing. Which I checked in the car seat, my luggage, and all of that stuff. We went through TSA and... I don't remember ever telling you guys this, but I did get my daughter a real ID when she was five months. I actually have it, and that's the thing I used for her to travel. Even though it wasn't necessary, I just wanted to get it, you know, because I'm like, oh my gosh, my daughter has a real ID, you know, and she's so tiny. I remember giving it to the lady from the TSA, and then she's all like, oh my gosh, is this like for real, for real? And I'm like, duh, like, how could it be fake? Like, why would I give you something fake? She's all like, I've never seen a real ID for a baby, and I just asked DMB if it was possible they said yes I did the whole process put in all the paperwork and they sent me the real ID so we were there so the TSA lady basically just scanned it and then she's like she does come up on the system and I'm like duh like I said it's a real ID like it's for real like why would I fake it I guess she was saying that because like she has never ever seen that before we went through I think as soon as we passed TSA they were gonna start boarding the plane I was getting nervous I told my husband I'm like you need to hold the baby we're gonna start folding this thing and then I was like I got this plastic bag already for the stroller so they won't like scratch it anymore and I honestly didn't even know that there was like a stroller bag for it not to get damaged through the whole process of like the airport moving it around or just misplacing it they started boarding they called us but we were the only family with an infant and then going from Casper to San Francisco we were the only family with an infant as well so we were always we were always first to board and uh, I like I mean it was like my third time doing it already I was like okay I'm gonna check my stroller tag it they gave me the receipt 
And then after they gave me the receipt, they're all like, okay, just leave it right here when they start burning. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I basically did that, you guys. Um, I was holding the baby and I was holding the diaper bag. And then my husband was, I don't know what he was holding, but oh, I guess it was my, my carry-on. But the thing is, like, my husband was all like, Sandra, I want to have the window seat. And I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. So my husband was sitting down at the window and he was basically telling me he's like sandra like they're, they're getting the stroller right now they're putting it in and then like through that process of like them doing that he's all like what the fuck and i was like what happened and i was like well, what are you talking about like I'm like what are you seeing and like, he's all like they grabbed the stroller and they dropped it sandra they dropped the stroller and i'm like no they didn't and then he's all like i think they broke it i'm like are you sure like how can you tell and then he's all like i can tell like piece of the stroller missing and I was like, what piece? And then he's all like, Sandra, they broke it. Like, the wheel came off. They're trying to put it back on right now. And I'm like, shut up. I just kept on saying shut up. And I was like, well, let me see it. So while I was looking through the window, I did see both of the employees from United Airlines literally struggling for their life to put the wheel back on. And then they would put it back on and it would just like fall off. The only thing that crossed my mind was like panic i just started crying i felt so horrible i was pissed off I feel like i deal with my anger differently because when i get super mad i just can't control myself like i can't control my emotion and i just start to cry if i'm super upset like i just cry and that's literally what i did i just started to cry to cry and cry and cry and cry and then he kept on telling me calm down and i'm like stop telling me to calm down like you can't tell me to calm down when they broke my stroller like what the hell are we gonna do in Denver, we have a three hour and 30 minutes. Are we gonna be carrying the baby like just on our arms? I mean like, our child is getting big. The moments like when my baby doesn't want to be held, like she just wants to have her own space. And I'm like, what are we gonna do? Like our stroller is definitely broken. Like what the hell am I supposed to do? Like how do you want me to react? You know, like, do you want me to like smile and be like, give them a round of applause? Like I was going off on him a bit for a moment and then I was like okay so I'm gonna calm, calm down so I saw the flight attendant pass by hey like I think um they just broke my 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 stroller and then she's like oh no really and I'm like yeah they 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 like broke my stroller and like do keep in mind that my tears were just like coming down my cheeks and I'm just like yes they did break my stroller like what's up with that like what can we do and then the flight attendant she's all like okay just give me a second um, we're not leaving yet, so let me just call the lady that handles those employee. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So literally, she called the lady, and I remember, I was crying, okay? <clears throat> I was crying. I remember the lady coming in, like, just pissed off. Like, she already knew what she was going to say in her defense. And then she's like, you guys forgot to put the brake on the stroller. And I'm like, how did we forget to put the brake on the stroller? Like, well, we were going back and forth because like she was giving me her answer and I was talking back. And I was like, how did we forget? I mean, like, it wasn't the first time. This would be our third time. So you cannot tell me that it, it's like, like we just forgot to put the, the brake on the stroller. And then she's all like, well, yeah, you guys did. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So what can we do? And then she's all like, you know what? You're going to have to deal with it online. And you have to contact United Airlines. And as soon as you get home, you know, online and then file the claim. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So we got to Denver. And as soon as we got to Denver, the lady that handed us our stroller, you can really tell that she was afraid that the stroller was broken and then she's like hey i have to tell you guys something the stroller got broken and i'm like honestly don't even worry about it it wasn't you guys i know you guys did not break it it was in casper wyoming who's like it's okay but i'm like but what can i do and then she's all like you know i have to report it to my manager and i have to report i have to make the claim and the process because it happened in casper and i'm like yeah and then like she checked the tag and i'm like yeah the tag it said that stroller had nothing wrong with it and it moved perfectly fine and the wheel was attached and her manager came by and then she's he's all like oh i apologize for the mishandling but we didn't do it and i'm like no i know you guys didn't do it like obviously right like it happened in casper so he's all like okay so i'm just gonna do the process and put the claim in and then you guys can deal with it over there as soon as you guys get home and then just 
make the claim online. Now this is where I was super pissed off because like, I'm like, okay, how am I gonna make the claim but I don't have a, a reference number? Okay, can you give me like a reference number since you're gonna be like doing it now? And then he's all like, I can't because like, it's gonna take a moment and I'm like, well, I have three hours. And like what pissed me off was that nobody wanted to help me. Everyone just told me, you could do it on your own, you could do it at home, you have to do this, you have to do that and you have to contact them. And nobody helped me there. I told my husband I'm like dude like what are we gonna do like we have to carry the baby but luckily the only thing that broke off of my stroller was the wheel itself where it would clip like I don't know how to explain it but it's like the wheel has this one handle on top and then like you attach it and then it clips on and like, that's how the wheel um, stays put and stays there but that clip broke off when the the stroller just like fell over and I'm like, oh my god, head I'm like, do you think we could use it? And then he's all like, I think it's possible. I think we're gonna, we can use it. So we we were able to use our stroller at the airport if we were just pushing it. But like, if I wanted to like tilt her over, go over a step, that's where the wheel will come off, and it was not safe. So that was that. And then we made it to San Francisco. Like I went on United Airlines page. And it kept on asking me what was the reference number that they gave you at the airport. And I was like, they didn't give me any like reference number. Like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, I literally had the pictures and receive it. So it just didn't let me move forward without that one reference tag. So I was like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to give them a call. So I literally called United Airlines um, customer service. Told her, I was like, I actually took a stroller but the employees in casper carelessly just like broke my stroller like what the hell do i do are you guys gonna pay for my stroller or what you know and then she's all like oh yeah 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 definitely we can definitely do that but there's one thing we do have to ask from you and i was like what is that and then she's all like you're gonna have to go back to the airport and show one of the airlines employee like where did it break off and i'm like why can't I just take you like a picture or send you a video? And then she's all like, oh no, because like, you could have done that in Denver. And I'm like, but no one told me in Denver that I was supposed to go to the baggage or claim and tell them, hey, my luggage came damaged or my stroller came damaged and this is what happened. But I'm like, okay, whatever, fine. I'm just gonna go on Monday. So me and my husband, we literally went to San Francisco airport and I had all the receipts, the picture, and we had to take the stroller, and then, like, I told the lady, and then the lady's all like, oh, let me get my manager, you know, like, she's gonna come here and check and take pictures and all that stuff. She took the pictures of the strollers, the wheel itself, how it broke and all that stuff. The lady came by, and she literally, so I'm just, like, trying to speak super quick before my camera, like, literally shuts off. But um, the lady came by, she took the pictures and then she went back into her office Then she came back and then she's all like, you know what, we're not gonna, we're not able to cover this. And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, what do you mean you're not able to cover this? And then she's all like, oh, we're not able to cover this because it was just a domestic flight. If it were to be an international flight, then we can handle all of that. And I'm like, a customer service lady and the employees over there in Casper and in Denver, they told me that you guys would handle it. And then my husband was all like, Sandra, Sandra, calmate, like you don't have to raise your voice. And I'm like, I'm not raising my voice, but I just don't think it's fair. Like I was upset. They were just misleading me every time. And then I just hit a So you guys, I am done with my makeup and my lashes. The only thing that I did off camera was basically my eyeliner. So I'm using Drilla Lashes in the style Queen B, which are my freaking favorites. I will link them down below. They're only $10. And I have a 10% discount code for you guys. But anyways, um, I didn't finish telling you guys the story, but yeah, we arrived at the airport. The lady told us that there was nothing to do because it was a domestic flight. It wasn't an international flight. And I'm like, okay, well, what the hell? Like, what am I supposed to do? Like, you guys broke my, like, Nuna stroller. I mean, come on, like, what the F? And until that point, I didn't know Nuna had replacement parts for that stroller. Thank God that they do because... I ordered the replacement part which were just two wheels and it came out to be like $49.99 before tax and like with tax it was like 50 something but it wasn't super expensive like I thought that I had to buy like a whole new stroller right the manager at United Airlines she told us like I can help you with the $50 payment I'm like you know what just think like just forget about it you know I didn't even take it because I was super stressed I was 
super frustrated and I was just not having it. And I did order the parts. They arrived, I think, three days ago. It did take some time. The lady did tell me that it was gonna be like five to seven business days. However, it took like 15 days <laughs> to get to my house. So my stroller is in the back. I'm gonna use it because we're headed to the beach days. So yeah. But anyways, if you guys like these type of videos, please give it a huge thumbs up, like subscribe to my channel and yeah, thank you for watching. Bye guys.